18. All right. It's We're standing good. still. All right. Here's the LGB. This is this is a uh, this is where you get to the complex. And you guys, this might be a little bit adventuresome, but it's primarily a green juice. This is the one that I would throw hot pepper in. I'll go to town with it. Uh, hot peppers are anti-parasitic. So they'll, they'll really flush and cleanse anything that's living in your intestines that should not be there. You might need to wean into those though if you do that. Alright, so can you check this recipe out kind of handy stuff so we can get through all this here? So we need four stocks of celery. Okay, now they did not have the uh, fennel. That second thing on the list there is, is fennel. Um, some of you Fennel has a licorice taste. It's an herb. It looks a lot like celery. There's a bulb on the bottom of it, and um, it's. An, I really enjoy the flavor of it. It's a water-based <laughs> herb. Um, I requested Shop and Save to get it. They do have it from time to time. I can't. You can't find it as consistently as you can find celery or whatever. But um, they do have have it there from time to time. Cucumber. That's what I'm talking. Now the herbs, the green herbs are the things that, I mean, if you thought about the healthiest thing on the planet, is green stuff. If you're, you know, if you're green, you're clean. So they detoxify the body. Um, interestingly, if people with, yeah, body odor, a lot of the issue is we're eating too much meats and other things that are nitrogenous in the body and they're not water-based. When you start doing these herbs, um, they're very cleansing with that. You feel very fresh. You get too much parsley in there, and I probably did a little bit too much with this. <laughs> that motor might shut on you. You have to be patient with it. So you don't want to get too many herbs in there, but you do want to pack them like this. You'll get more juice out if you do that. So you just kind of have to learn if you're going to do the greens. To, to find that balance between too much where you're going to jam it up and getting it compacted. Like right now, there's nothing flying through that chute that's not getting compressed here. And you're going to get more juice if you do it this way. So I fancy myself to like to be patient. So not that I maybe am, but I'll take some time, squeeze it out of there. Now this is kale. Um, anybody eat kale raw routinely? Does people like kale? Everybody seen kale before? Does everybody not know what kale is? So kale is they really classify in the cruciferous family like cabbage or cauliflower or bro broccoli. The leaves are going to be they're tougher than a lettuce, um, and it has a stalk in there. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful um, leafy herb. It's very, very nutrient dense on all the studies comparing these type of things. It's great. I do eat it salads. I don't eat in salads. I don't eat the stalk. I cut the leaves off. Um, I put it in smoothies and actually eat the whole leaf. I really like to do that um, quite a lot. You can bake it and turn it into chips. Yeah, because that's what the other day. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, then you yeah, cook it like potato chip. Like, you just take kale and you put it in that oven and bake it. Yeah, let's get a little of these greens flushed out of here. So the apples, so here again, here's, here's the idea. So we're going to use all this green stuff. And how is that possibly going to go down? Well, you're going to have apples in there. And, and it's going to... Put as many in as you need to, to make it taste like you like. If you need a lot of apple at first, God made the apple as much as you made the kale, so eat those. Um, the only question is whether you're really worried about the quote unquote sugar in there. Um, this is cilantro. I really like cilantro juice. I feel that these green herbs, and I feel like cilantro in particular, if you have sinus type of issues, um, you get mucus up in your upper area, these green herbs get that stuff flowing. And uh, you might be blowing your nose and stuff, but hey, you're getting stuff out of there that's in there. So it's really, really good for that. It's cucumber, cucumbers. Well, I know Mark said he doesn't like that. Cucumbers is a real good one to juice. It's very high water content. Um, I don't get sprayed on this much at my house. I just hate wiggles. I'm convinced it has some really good one. Here's the ginger. I think, uh, is it two did, inches? Did you guys, like was that other ginger, was that too much? Was yeah. anybody like, I can't take that much ginger? That That's what I like to see. Fill her up again, Dr. Birchler. That's good. The ginger's good. Let's see if you do a little more ginger. Okay, we got a lemon here. So
so this is called the lemon ginger blast. So your your core of this thing is a lemon, is ginger, and then probably cucumber and celery, that type of stuff. Then whatever herbs you have. I mean, if you have kale, do kale. If you have, if you want to try something spicy like a little bit of mustard greens or arugula, you can do that. You can do spinach, which is a more mild flavor. I try and always do parsley and cilantro with it. I just like that. If you have mint, and you want to do like a lot of mint in place of cilantro or something else, that mint has that real refreshing flavor. That's really good. Um, dill also very good if you, I mean, if you, if you enjoy the taste of that. Um, this is about realistic for how much I would have in a serving. I mean, we're right at 32 ounces right now. That so might seem like a lot, but that's the point, right? Is how many of you have eaten the perfect fruit and vegetable diet your whole life? Like 80, 90% fruit and vegetables. Nobody can raise their hand in this room. So if you have literally years or decades of moderate to severe nutrient deficiency, how are you possibly going to fill your body up and saturate with all this stuff if you're trying to eat all that fiber and stuff? You can actually get all those nutrients in there. I know that's a lot it took to make that juice, but if you do that every day, you fill your body up, your body will, will be pure and clean, your blood will be pure and clean. Um, the acidity the craving will go down. different. Yeah. yeah. It really does. If you crave, you won't crave. The hunger changes dramatically once you start actually nourishing the body. I think we're getting full here on pulp. I should have had another bag. Just So now, as far as you know, seeing these little parsley and stuff, you know, some of that didn't get juiced real well. In fact, let's juice that next time. Um, but here, here's my point. Those other juicers, like that other one I showed you, they're getting every last drop of that juice out. Um, so if for you it's primarily a value issue or money issue, you feel like you're spending this, you have to get out of it what you can. Um, Hey, you might put out 400 for a juicer like that, but if you're going to use it the rest of your life and you're committed to making a positive change there, it's great. I think that's a wonderful thing to do with it. The seeds are not. Yeah, they'll, they'll get kicked out. Yeah. Well, can you use that pulp and stick it back through there? You could put if you, if you felt like you could run it back through there and get more out of it, you can try. Have you, you can pick out some of the stuff. Yeah, you're. I don't really. Uh, no. I've done it before. Your You're not going to have much success with this. You can get a little. I, I can't say not that you won't. But again, if, if you're, if you have to get the last bit and you want to take your time and do that, then do it. If you psychologically have to, I'm kind of over that. If I, if you want more, I get it. Different juicer, you know, save a quarter of that. No, can you freeze the pulp? What's that? Can you freeze the pulp? <laughs> I told you that's not my cup of tea. I don't I have frozen. Pulp goes. Keep going. 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 Looks like the ginger thing. This would be the good one for you to do, something similar to this. You don't have to do that much ginger if you don't like it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, put a little bit less in it. Put, I put a fair amount in more than I was planning on to put it in for you guys because people were back there egging me on. Like a guy getting carried away drinking. I didn't see the habanero. Yeah, I didn't, so I took it easy on you guys with that. Um, so. Hey, you don't, but the, here's try, the key. I'll try well with that. You do the greens, you yeah. do the apples, and you're good. Yeah. you do the lemon. The lemon's good. It's going to give it, you, hey, you can even throw kiwi in there. I really like kiwi. Though. The next recipe, we're going to have kiwi. Um, again, it's another green fruit this time. It's going to give it some sweetness. Um, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty. That's you, bro. It's not actually Good. I'm so used to having more hot stuff in there that it tastes mild to me, but who wants a little more? Who else?